Well, networking, uh, how can you define networking? Um, very shortly, you can say that networking means that there are private individuals, groups of people and organizations, they are working together in according to the joint aims and vision. There can be networking between individuals, between individuals, groups of people, between individuals, groups of people and organizations, and between groups of people and organizations. So different kind of combinations of all these. Um, network can be built for a short-term period. For instance, if you want to uh, accomplish a project, it can be once, once or happen once or then repeatedly. For instance, yearly happening. Or then it can be several years project or one year's project. Uh, but network can also be a way to work. Organization can have networking as a, as a base of the daily activities it has and base also of work of its participants. Um, the main thing is that participants have a joint interest around which they, they build up partnership, which all will benefit. Nobody comes into any activities if there's no benefit for them. Then when you start networking, um, you, are, you are choosing which kind of expertise you need, which kind of organization or bodies you need in. You can take religious groups, authorities, associations, or in, in some cases you can take enterprises, communities in, uh, sometimes workshops, activity groups, projects, schools. So variation is very big because it depends always about the aim and the needs of those who are starting to do something together. But in the final end, base of networking is people. Organizations and bodies, they are made of people, they are made for people, and of course, we people, we can influence on them and on their activities. About this networking, um, I can give you a good example about quite large network. It's about, um, about work with quota refugees. Uh, we, we have a very small town here in East Salmi. And because of that, we don't have, or any, any organization has, hasn't so much resources. And while Islam municipality decided to take water refugees, they decided to collect people, invite people together to develop the activities and support for water refugees while they are arriving and even before they are arriving. They wanted to make a good plan to make it, make everything go well without any big conflicts or problems. So they invited um, um, refugee council, invited um, different bodies there. There were, there were members from, or representatives from, for instance, uh, public health care. They decided to, there to have a nurse who is specialized in to work with the refugees so they uh, she will be more able to understand the backgrounds and things which she's dealing with while working with them then they invited in people from some labor employment officers who are then planning training and employment for the 
arriving refugees. Then there were um, teachers um, or members from school because they wanted to organize education for children smoothly. There were social workers from social welfare office, um, migrant worker, but not only officers or public organizations, they invited also, for instance, um, East Army Red Cross in. And East Army Red Cross is then the one who is organizing friends for the arriving refugees and also different kind of clubs and hobbies for for them. For instance, women's clubs, children's exercise clubs, and so on. And I think it was a good thing because they were thinking very carefully what to do. They were, they were planning together before even the first group came. And then they also are developing their work all the time and have meetings several times per year, just to know what is everybody doing and is there any problems to solve and they want, want also to make new aims for their work. So select, while, while making networks, selection of partnerships and partners is very important. Then, if the base of the networking is people, what then about the value of partnerships in networking? Um, at best, it is like a cross-border phenomenon. Partnerships across geographic borders, sectoral borders, and also a different level borders, and so on. Uh, for instance, if you need funding, you have to you have to apply it from maybe from ministry or some foundation or some um, some other other organization. But then you need, um, for instance, associations many times for voluntary work. But you can do anything if you don't have then support from the municipality, different authorities under municipality, and so on. Uh, partnerships, I think, a very important thing is to remember that uh, it's while you are sharing the resources, you are gaining participants and competencies. And it means that the more you share, the more you gain. And if you think about political influencing or societal influencing, uh, when you have many partners and you are doing work together, you have the same aim, you have also a bigger and stronger voice. If you do things alone, you are not so, you are not so visible. And it's easy to not to take you into consider consideration while making decisions on political level. <laughs>